Now with Tokyo Looming, I think it's fair to say that currently every running brand is racing to create their fastest running shoes. Now we've seen a lot of these already, but there's one pair that we've been patiently waiting for. And I have to admit, it's been pretty hard to get our hands on a set of these. But thanks to a team of meticulous Swiss engineers, On Running have finally brought us their fastest marathon running shoe, the On Cloud Boom Echo. Wow, yeah, I know, they are a lovely looking pair of shoes, and yes, they do feature carbon in them. And some eagle-eyed viewers out there may actually already recognize these shoes or have spotted them already. And that's because there have been some prototypes floating around with minimal branding on them, and they've actually been winning races and posting some very impressive times. We had the top three men at Ironman 70.3 Florida wearing these shoes. Javier Gomez and Nicolas Spirig wearing these to their wins at Challenge Cancun and Challenge Gran Canaria respectively. Also Matt Hansen to his ridiculous run splits at Daytona and Miami, just to name a few. So they've had some pretty good field testing already. Now today I'm actually going to be going into specifics of these shoes and also getting a non-expert in to literally rip these shoes apart. But before I do that I have some exciting news for you folk because I'm gonna be giving away four pairs of these shoes, two male and two female. And as always, you will need to stay tuned until the end of this video and do listen up and watch this video because you will need to answer a question in relation to these shoes. Right, where should we start then? Well, I think I'll start by doing a little bit of comparison between these new on Cloud Boom Echo shoes and their predecessor, the Cloud Boom. Now the Cloud Boom was released last year. It's a lovely racing flat and obviously the Cloud Boom Echo looks very similar to the Cloud Boom. But beyond looks, there is very little that is similar about these shoes. Now, I think it's fair to say the Cloud Boom Echo was always their original intention and goal, but the Cloud Boom served as a nice stepping stone towards that. So the Cloud Boom Echo has a far bigger midsole, so this section here, it's got 35 mil stack at the back through to 27 at the front, so an 8 mil heel to toe drop. We've also got this speed ball, which you can quite obviously see from the sides here. It's got a far more radical curvature in it just to aid with that stronger propulsion. The cloud arrangement also on the midsole is very different and also much lighter. And then the upper, well, it's very Swiss. Through engineering, they've managed to weave a super thin single layer material with varying properties throughout. But let's be honest, the reason why most of you are watching this is to hear more about the carbon in the shoe, right? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. We're delighted to be joined by Edouard Coyen today from on the running footwear product manager and obviously instrumental behind the Cloud Boom Echo shoe. And um, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to jump straight in here now. The child in me just wants to rip this shoe apart and see everything inside. Most notably, I want to see the midsole, what it's made of. And I understand you're able to do that for me today. Yeah. So here is uh, here's the shoe. And what we're able to do today is actually to look at what's inside the shoe to separate what you call top midsole to the carbon speedboard and to the bottom midsole. So actually uh, to look at every single layer below the foot, let's start with what's against the ground, which is the rubber outsole. Uh, it's super important because here we're talking about efficiency, having a shoe that can propulse you forward with maximum efficiency. It obviously starts with the rubber also where you want to lose the minimum uh, the minimum uh, energy with the best friction with the ground. So especially in wet conditions, really have engineered, so I don't know how much you can see here, but uh, the lugs, there's three layers of, uh, of lugs. There is a very specific pattern that's really helping like the film of water to evacuate from the bottom of the shoe. So there's actually a lot of engineering here. Then there's also some engineering for obviously some durability to make sure that the shoe goes, goes the distance. And uh, it's a combination of uh, the material we use, the rubber we use, and obviously 
again the the geometry that you see here and then so back uh back to uh what's below the foot here i'm going to move the top two layers to dig into the cloud tech um the cloud tech cushioning so you can see it's pretty cool uh kind of uh talk about cathedral here like there's a lot going here like the molds to build this are pretty crazy so the bottom midsole here it's built from um a material which has high rebound, which is super light. And uh, so it creates something which is like uh, super soft, but not too soft. So so you, you bring some structures to the cloud. And then what's unique about ON is how we play with the geometry of the bottom unit, how we bring in the clouds. As you can see here, they have a very wide uh, opening. So it's, it's, it's to absorb the, the impact vertically but also horizontally so as you land on the ground you can imagine that these lugs they will deform so i don't know how much i can show uh, 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 in in this direction so they will actually already propulse you forward to ultimately end up in the position where you want to end up which is as quickly as possible to be on the forefoot so the main the main goal of the bottom is always to absorb the impact and to get you in the forefoot position as quickly as possible then next layer where somehow a part of the magic happens it's the carbon uh the carbon plate which we call speedboard actually interesting enough it's something that we have in every single um on shoes we always, we always had a, a board made in specific material and it's bringing a lot of benefits in this case the goal is to to bring maximum efficiency as you move forward so this is what why it has like a super uh, curved shape. We speak. Uh, we like to speak about a spoon shape somehow. And what's pretty cool about a spoon shape, if uh, so, it's difficult to to hold it like this. But if you if you push on one side, obviously the spoon uh, catapults forward, and that's exactly what we try to do here. So uh, the key to the shoe is really to have this radical spoon shape, uh, and basically, as you will. Uh, start to be at the four foot position, you will create this catapult effect that could propose you forward. What's also interesting about the speedboard is it's not 100% carbon. It's a mix of carbon and some poly polypropylene, which is uh, another material. Uh, what's interesting is you need some stiffness, but 100% carbon would be would be super rigid and uh, super uncomfortable. So really play it to keep maximum efficiency, but at the same time to keep a little bit of softness for for comfort because what you can see in in uh, in these new super shoes is it's also about comfort. This is why you have so much foam below the foot. Next level, adding uh, <laughs> the full bottom unit back. Let's just keep the top midsole. So top midsole again here, using a foam high rebound, super light. And here the goal is uh, to create some comfort below the foot because if you have if you had the the carbon speedball below the foot, that would be super uncomfortable uh, that's also quite quite the magic of of uh, of these shoes without such stack height below your foot you would never be able to put so much uh, such a radical for uh, speedball or or carbon plate shape so this is where you we, you we also have so much uh, so much stack height below below the foot so the main intent of uh, the top midsole is to to create some some comfort if you run uh, if you run uh, a marathon, uh, you want to make sure that at the end of the race, it's still comfortable, you know, just like just <laughs> against the ground. Well, a huge thanks to Eduardo there. Now, obviously, to get to this point, it has required countless iterations and prototypes with also some very thorough testing from some of the best runners and athletes in the world. But what differentiates these shoes or these carbon super shoes from others out there is the way in which the cloud tech, the clouds that are famous for, interact with the speedboard itself. Now apparently having the clouds in the front of the shoe allows the forefoot to collapse quicker, providing a more stable platform. And they claim that further improves running economy by one and a half percent. Another additional benefit of this cloud tech technology is that they can help with each and every gate because the clouds can collapse independently from one another 
apparently the design can work from anything through to heel strikers to forefoot strikers. But also, as Eduardo briefly explained, the speedboard is actually just carbon infused. It's not fully made of carbon. So despite all this talk of carbon, there's actually only around 15% carbon in this speedboard. But don't be disappointed because that is actually a good thing. Apparently through their testing, they found that having too much carbon in that speedboard actually made for a rather uncomfortable and rigid ride. Whereas they feel like through their testing, they found that perfect balance of being effective, comfortable, and ultimately more efficient. But aside from these fancy soles, there's still plenty to talk about in the uppers too. Now most shoes that you'll buy these days have what we call knitted uppers, whereas these are woven. And what that has allowed them to do is create this ultra thin single layer of fabric with different weaving patterns throughout. So we've got this slightly looser weaving in the toe box and certain areas on the shoe, which will improve the breathability of the shoe, but then also tighter weave in other areas that provide support and structure to the shoe without additional layers which obviously would increase the weight of the shoe. A further benefit of that is actually for us triathletes out there, by not having these additional layers and seams, should you want to go sockless, there's less things to rub on your feet. Talking of triathlon, they've also included a couple of triathlon features to the shoe, and while small, could actually make a significant difference. So the tongue has been designed so it can be folded over nice and easily and tucked under the laces, just allowing you to get your foot in more quickly. And also the heel has been made soft enough so it collapses down, so just increasing the access area for the foot. The upper is also hydrophobic, so it's not gonna go absorbing all your sweat or any water that you might throw over yourself. And also, oh, I think this is pretty cool, the upper and including the laces have been made using recycled polyester. So big thumbs up from me on that one. All in all, these shoes come in at 220 grams, which makes them very competitive with the other super shoes on the market currently. These shoes are obviously available now and they'll be retailing for $270. But if you would like to get your hands on a set of these for free, well, listen up, because it's time for our giveaway, and I hope you guys have been listening up. If you would like to get involved in that giveaway, you just need to head down to our description below this video and click on that link, go through, and you're just gonna have to answer a hopefully simple question if you've been listening up. Well, fingers crossed, and good luck to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Don't forget to give us a follow over on social media, and subscribe down below.